If you've ever wondered why weed makes your friends feel incredibly energetic while all you want to do is Netflix and chill, science has finally come up with an answer for you. A team of researchers in the UK has found a way to identify which marijuana users are more susceptible to experiencing stronger temporary reactions and the possible long-term psychosis that comes along with smoking weed. Now, Margaret, the researchers have linked a variation in the AKT1 gene to people being more open to the mind-altering effects of weed. And what they found is that these people who have this gene variation experience stronger symptoms like paranoia, magical thinking, and visual distortion than their counterparts who did not have this gene variation. Great. Well, I have a couple of questions for you. So it sounds like you're saying that if you have a predisposition for schizophrenia, stay away from pot because you will be extra paranoid as opposed to just a little paranoid. Um, look, do we know if it worsens the paranoia? So you're saying that the gene, there is a correlation between the two. Basically, what they did was they studied 442 marijuana users while they were high for these uh, psychotropic effects. And then they studied them a week later while they were sober to see who still had the lingering effects happening. And what they found was that people with this variation in the AKT1 gene tended to hold on to those, um, those effects a lot longer than the rest of the people in the study. And so what that proves, basically to your point, if you're predisposed to certain mental conditions that they run in your family, smoking weed could exacerbate those illnesses. So yeah, not saying weed causes schizophrenia, but right. if you're predisposed. <laughs> that's, that's funny to me, you know, the, the, um, the medical journal, the Harvard Medical Journal, also did a study, Sasha, where kids that smoked pot, they said that it, they have a, you know, a predisposition to have later on mental illness and disorder, and I'm paraphrasing this in later life, if they start too early, do we know if that's at all corollary, starting really early and having mental problems later, or is there not? Well, I think we've seen in multiple instances, there have been studies about the impacts of alcohol use on um, teenagers whose brains are still developing, and so it would only logically serve to say that if you are a teenager and your brain is still developing and you're taking any mind-altering substances, whether it be alcohol or drugs, um, there might be some long-term effects on your on your mental condition. Right. You, we've heard of PTSD, it, it helping PTSD uh, patients, but not schizophrenic patients. That's interesting. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you know, there, there are instances where weed does increase paranoia right. and, you know, different <laughs> things like that. Okay. Um, what has been interesting while I was researching this particular topic was that traditionally, um, outside of the science community, a lot of the varying effects of weed have been um, trumped up to the different strains and people reacting just very differently to the way that right. the, the weed is made um, or grown. But this is actually showing that there is a genetic link to how your body is interpreting all of the different signals that it's getting. Got it. I mean, so if you are a pot smoker and you realize you have a propensity for schizophrenia, what are your options? Do you have any? Um, I mean, not do it pretty much <laughs> has been the, the general consensus amongst this. Um, this study is still sort of in the early stages. I know that there are people that do genetic screening. Um, so For you, breast cancer, I've heard of that. I'll yeah, and so this is not in the same vein as breast cancer. Got it. But Dr. Cecilia Morgan, who is a professor of psychopharmacology, had this to say about the importance of this study. We know relatively little about what makes certain people vulnerable to developing psychosis from smoking cannabis, but this research suggests one piece in the puzzle might be this genetic difference. Cannabis and its extracts are being increasingly recognized for their medical uses, so this is another reason why it's key to keep trying to find ways of predicting who will experience negative effects from its use. This research is still in its beginning phases, but what we are seeing is that there may be a link between genetics and weed psychosis.